Hi, this is Alex from Uptempo Tech. Uh, today we're going to be walking you through how to make the Miro bot. We picked this up while we were at Maker Fair, uh, and it's a cool little project to do. So uh, without further ado, let's get in. First off, we're going to grab this uh, chassis base plate, and when it says stepper motor, it means this little thing. Uh, and you're just going to slide these in. Everything in this project should just slide together. You shouldn't need any glue or uh, any of that to keep it all together. Next, it's going to tell you to grab the side plate. It's going to go like this. You're going to slide this piece into that hole, right? They should just click right on, and all the holes should match up fairly nicely. You can see right there. Next, it tells you to grab the wheel. This little hole in the wheel should match this fairly perfectly, so you're just going to want to align them nice and neatly. Uh, and you might need a little bit of pressure to put these together, but it means that they're quite nice and snug. After you get both those uh, on either side, you're going to want to grab the rear plate. There's just this thing with two holes in it, and you've got that little slot. You're going to want these slots to match up uh, up here. This is actually the back of the robot, by the way, so you're going to need uh, these two slots to match up to these. So you're, uh, I'll show you a side view of how this goes, and it looks like that, and you can do the same thing on the other side. Uh, and it should slide all in, uh, and this should actually sit flush like that. Uh, after you do that, you're going to want to grab the wheel guards to make sure these wheels don't come off. Uh, they look like this. Uh, you're going to put this slot with that hook, uh, same way you did actually with the uh, first guard you put on. And the wheel should sit in where the O should be for the mirror butt. After you've got these on either side, you're going to want to put on the front guard. Uh, this will also be the holder for your um, electronics, and it will hold these two together. So you're going to want these kind of like moose antler looking things to match up with these slots. Uh, and you're going to want these knobs matching up with those holes. 